at 4 o'clock, a 22-year-old woman from Roselle is being held on a half a million dollar bond. She's accused of pouring boiling hot water on her boyfriend while he slept on a couch. Alexis Sykes is her name. She was located in Mississippi in the middle of last month and extradited back to DuPage County, where she's now facing charges. Prosecutors say the incident happened on January 2nd in an apartment the two shared in Roselle. She allegedly recorded herself committing the crime and posted the video to Snapchat, saying she now feels bad because he suffered second and third degree burns. The boyfriend spent two weeks at Loyola University Medical Center's burn unit where he underwent skin graft surgery. Did she think she was giving the guy a bath? Pouring boiling hot water on somebody, another human being, and the guy was sleeping. Ah! He wasn't aware. He, 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 he was in shock. He didn't know what was coming his way. You know when you're sleeping now, you know how it is. She had the time to post the video on Snapchat. Oh, the kind of things we hear, the kind of evil people do, you, you begin to wonder. She posted with a caption, I kind of feel bad now because he got second and third degree bonds from face to waist. And they're rushing him to bond center. What was she thinking? And the guy was even begging her, please take me to the hospital. But she refused. Of course she would. When, if she wanted you to be alive, she wouldn't have poured the hot water on him in the first place. He, the guy, he managed to find the keys to the apartment and drove himself to the hospital. Oh my God. That guy would have been a sight that day. Only God knows what happened when he got to the hospital. How they rushed him. Oh, his, his arm was falling off. Everything was falling off. Boiling hot water. We all know how it feels to stay close to uh, where you're cooking. Not to talk of when boiling hot water, you know, was poured on someone. I can't even imagine it. Huh? Is this love? No, tell me this is love. 22-year-old woman, tell me this is love. Obviously, she, she didn't want him to leave. How, how long did it take her to hatch this plan? You know, sometimes people will be doing some things and you say, oh, they will change. I am sure this lady, this thing he did, she did, wasn't the first time. Maybe she would have been exhibiting some acts of violence around the guy and he didn't pay heed to it. Thankfully, he's alive to tell his story. He's lucky to be alive. It would have been worse. It's terrible. People do things they should be ashamed of. If, you, if you're no longer comfortable with the relationship, you did not want the guy anymore. I mean, you... You guys would have gone your separate ways. After all, they were not married. Even if they were married. So that everybody would be alive. You stay on your own. Me, I will be on my own. We will be okay. We'll be alive. If we see tomorrow, we can wave at each other. What's there? We didn't hear that there was an argument or there was a fight. No, he was sleeping. They probably slept together. She got up. Went and, you know, boiled the water. Oh, it's terrible. Well, that's it. I saw this and I said, mm -mm, this one is way too much. This is violent. This is evil. This is wickedness on patrol. That's what this is. That's where I see it. What do you think? What do you think about this video? What do you think about this lady? Do you think she's normal? But they didn't mention any mental disorder here. Maybe... They would. I don't think so. I think she's okay. It's just plan hatched and carried out perfectly. Thank God the guy is alive. Well, I drop it here. Thanks for watching. If you're here for the first time, I appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. Kindly remember to subscribe to my channel. Subscription is free. Please support my channel. I thank you so much for finding time to come here have a great day god bless you please stay safe wherever you are i'll see you in the next video bye bye i love you